everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Leo and let's do some more LeapFrog problems today. Today's problem is called even odd tree. We were given a binary tree and let's judge whether it's an even odd tree. So an even odd tree has some of the properties listed below. The root of the binary tree is at level index zero and its children are at index level one and their children are at level index two. And so basically root is at the zeroth level and as it goes down, the uh, level will increment. And for every even index level, meaning zero, two, four, etc., all nodes at the level have odd integer values in strictly increasing order, meaning they have to be all odd values. And also the elements to the right must be strictly bigger than the elements on the left. And also for every odd index level, all nodes at the level have even integer values in strictly decreasing order. And where we're given the root of a binary tree, return true or false. So this is a pretty tricky question, though in reality, it was pretty straightforward. So uh, let's take a look at this. So basically it tells you which algorithm to use since we're moving from one level to another. So naturally we can think of BFS, right? So what do we need in the BFS? We need to we need a queue to initiate the BFS, and we need a level to record whether it's um, even or odd, odd level, right? And we also need to know all the nodes in the current level, and if they compare to the previous element, they are they did not fit in this in this pattern we can return false at this level. Otherwise, we can go straight down, okay? So what do we need here? Uh, first, we'll need a level. And also, I think we can need a Boolean, which is is even or not, to judge whether we're currently at the uh, an even level or odd level. And after that, we need a previous element, which can be an integer or or something. So recording the previous element gives us the chance to compare between the current node and its previous node. Okay. And after that, it's a traditional BFS. So let's implement it out. So to initiate the BFS, we need a queue, a queue of tree node. And after that, we have to add a root in it. And as I said, we have a Boolean, which is even because we're at the level zero right now. Okay. So uh, if we're using this Boolean, we don't have to use an integer to record the current level because we can just switch the level between even and odd. So after that, we initiate via BFS when Q is not empty. Uh, we have to record the size because uh, we want to pull the nodes from the same level one by one. So it's better to record the current size of the Q. Okay, so uh, size equals to Q.size. And after that, we need to record a previous node, okay? So uh, with this, we're at even index level. All nodes at the level have odd integer values in strictly increasing order. So um, we can preset it to anything like uh, integer.max value for the uh, for the odd index level because we're strictly decreasing. So the first element 
of an odd index level must be strictly smaller than the previous one. So we can set the previous to integer.next value. And if it's we're at even value, uh, we're at even level, we can set the previous to integer.mean value because we have to be strictly increasing on even level all. Okay. Yeah, after that, um, we can we can we can loop through the all the nodes in the current queue. So while size is larger than zero, because we're going to decrement size every time we pop a node from the queue. Okay. So we're gonna pop something from the queue, um, queue.pull, okay? And after that, we need to size minus, decrement size, okay? And now we initiate the uh, judgment for each level, okay? After the judgment of each level, we will add, uh, con continue to build the next level, okay? Go to next level. That's what we need to do. So judgment for each level. Um, what's the judgment? If we're at uh, even index level, so is even is, is correct, and uh, we have to have odd integer values. So if cur.value is not odd, or it's not strictly increasing. So cur.value not increasing. That means it's less than or equal to the previous one, okay? So if this is the case, or maybe when we're not even, we're at odd level, and all nodes have even integers. So cur.value, Mod by two equals to one, or strictly decreasing, but not decreasing. We're larger than or equal to the previous value, okay? So either of this case would return false, okay? And if it passes this check, we'll go to the next level. So curve left is not null. Uh, Q will add curve left and if cur.right isn't null, q will add cur.right, okay? So, yeah, looks, oh, there's a problem here. So we didn't make any changes to the previous previous uh, integer, okay? Um, so what do we do? We have to, when we pop something from the queue, uh, we do the comparison, and if it's okay, we will let previous equals to current node dot value, okay? And and we can go to the next level. We can skip this current node, go to the next node, and when the queue is empty we uh when when the current queue is empty we look through yeah this is the uh, uh the previous queue size so when this is empty we have a new queue here and we record its size and we do it again oh after that uh, we have to change the is even to the other side okay All right, that should give us the answer. And so if everything goes well, we can return true. Okay, and let's see if it works. Okay, I think it worked. And let's analyze the complexity. So uh, we're initializing BFS, so it should be ON because we're looping through all the nodes in this in this graph, in this tree, okay? And the space complexity, we have a queue 
yeah, we just have a queue. But in the worst case, we can have all the nodes in the queue. Okay, so it should be O N. Yeah, that should be it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in our next video.